Time for new wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Join your host, the accomplished Dr. Sherilyn Lee, as she welcomes the leading experts in health and well-being as they explore the advancements in natural health, physical fitness, nutrition, integrative medicine, and self-discovery. Good day, everyone. I am so excited to be back here in the studio. It's been a long time. And as always, I always have wonderful guests, but we're, we're kind of not guests today. We're going to do a kind of a communication and um, talk here. So it's not, it's not like an interview. I want people to be engaged and join in with us because we have a really a very important topic and I just want to, before I give you the topic, I want you to realize it's very important that you know in this day and time that healthy DNA means a healthy immune system, which means a healthy you. Okay? So please grab your pen and paper because you'll want to take notes and you will have questions to, ans to ask yourself. Really important. So our topic title is Five Secrets to Heal Your Body Through DNA. Very important. So my wonderful guest today is Dr. Sarah Larson, and she's going to tell you a little bit more about herself. Thank you so much for being here. But before I say thank you for being here, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing this show to be my birthday gift. <laughs> this is my birthday gift from the one and only Dr. Sarah Larson. Wasn't that sweet? And we have a title to help people to heal, which is very important. Because if you don't have a healthy DNA, you don't have a healthy immune system, which is very important. So without further ado, I'm going to have Dr. Sarah Larson introduce herself. Thank Aww, you. Dr. You're Lee. wonderful. It's so wonderful to be with you in studio again. And I, I love... The work that you do and I'm so grateful for us to be together here um, today we're talking completely about the secrets to heal your body through DNA exactly and it's so beautiful as a medical doctor I consider myself a retired medical doctor <laughs> and I help mind body and spirit you to be able to achieve your purpose your goals and feel joy and accept enlightenment. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's if we had only a few days to live, right? What would you want to get out into the world? And most people don't push that thought or that energy forward. But most people get stuck and are stuck in um, a belief system that is not consistent with nature, exactly. not consistent with their higher self, not consistent with the greatest good that can come through them. And so it's my pleasure, it's my joy to be in studio with you and to highlight your incredible work. Um, Dr. You. Lee, how would you introduce yourself or how would your biggest fan introduce you? Well, you know, what I'm hearing now is healer because people come to me and we go through the whole steps. Uh, and I'm a person who screen. I believe in screening. That's we're changing some things up as it relates to our business and how I present myself. So I'm really known as the person that does the screening. And I believe in tests, don't guess. So people know me for that. I, I, you come with a situation, we're gonna test, not guess. And then the climate here, I just want everybody to know. You know, I know we're speaking about this, but it's so important that you know your, uh, your white blood cell count, your lab testing, because those things are important. So those are kind of my forefront because so many people are going through so much. So as we go through this whole journey with this conversation today, our conversation, <laughs> 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 that we're going to be including everything from environmental, how that affects your DNA, we're going to cover everything because our bodies are important and we, our bodies, our DNA, you know, we're shedding, we're losing. So we want to rebuild. And what's, what's really affecting the DNA? Not only just the internal, external, environmental, 
we have to really keep that healthy. So if you're assaulted by something or something comes along, it doesn't knock you flat on your feet. So that DNA and keeping that immune system really healthy is really important. And so my, um, my goal and what I do is trying to make sure that people understand their health through um, screening, through mind, body, soul, spirit, as I also do. I do a lot of prayer work with all of my patients to let them know that you don't have to be sick. You know, the, my number one goal is you don't have to suffer. You know, there's something to help turn things around. There's something to help. There's turn. something to turn around. But you have to want to be well. You have to want to heal. And that's what a lot of people don't really grasp. So everything affects our DNA, our emotions, environment, everything. So we're going to go in detail and start bringing some things to you so that you can focus on that. So you don't have to, every time someone you know, are near you and cough, run for cover. Because if you have a healthy immune system, guess what? You're not going to get sick like that. So. You're not going to get sick. Your DNA, your DNA is yes. unique to you. No one else has your source no. code. No one else has your operating system. And yes, there are so many environmental triggers, GMOs now, and um, health yes. choices but all around radiation, trama, all of that. 5G. <laughs> Yeah. 5G affects your DNA. And the most beautiful thing that we can share for you about you is the decisions that you make are the key factors in your own DNA. And how do you make decisions? This is a very important question to ask yourself. Are you making decisions from fear or are you making decisions from love? Your autonomic nervous system, your entire body, your entire, the subtle energy, your DNA you can't see. It's so tiny. It's smaller than the frequency of light. When you know, uh, I just want to stop you right there because um, at my uh, location or our clinic, uh, because that's what I do there, there's a three-minute test that I do, which is a three-minute cardiovascular test that actually tests your autonomic nervous system. And we have done some work, almost like biofeedback, where I've had a person come in totally stressed out. Mm -hmm. As we know, stress is going to totally affect your DNA. The and every cell in your body. Yes. And people don't understand what the autonomic nervous system, when it's out of balance, when it's not balanced, the sympathetic and parasympathetic. And sometimes people don't even understand the autonomic nervous system. We use terms, and I have to break it all down in my clinic for people, so I don't want to lose anyone. I, want, I don't want people to walk away and say, what was she talking about? You know, <laughs> I, got this, I have this test, but what did she say? Yes. So how do I heal myself, and how do I get better if I don't even understand what just happened here? Right. So I tell, and I show them the autonomic nervous system. It's like the cardiovascular system. There's all systems of the body. So, and there's two sides. So you want to make sure with that autonomic nervous system that you're, that you're balanced. You're not leaning in and sympathetic or too high in parasympathetic. You want to have those systems totally balanced. And sympathetic, you know, is, they're both not good to be elevated, but sympathetic is the worst because that's that fight or flight. Those are the people that they, they just step on the gas and go. They never step on the brakes. They never step on the brakes. And so when you do that, your entire immune system, your DNA, everything is shift. So we can see that in three minutes with the autonomic nervous system. So it's I just want to share that because- It's so beautiful. I had yeah. my daughter come into your clinic. Exactly. And I believe it's so beautiful to have her tested. And um, she was going through something. And right there in three minutes on a graph, yes. there it was presented. And yes, you your breath, your breath by breath, your brain is being activated, your heart is being utilized, your entire system. And when you're coming from love, yes. your brain, your body, your whole system relaxes. Yes. And when you're coming from fear, your whole system is coming from mm -hmm. watching for sharp objects, watching for threats. 
And so your brain and your body is writing all of the proteins within your body to be able to fight or flee. And when it's been used so much, it freezes. And you freeze, especially in the areas that your family has trauma. So anytime you're in fear, it's not your fault. It might have been passed down generation to generation. And so by understanding this, oh my gosh, am I that question? Am I making my decision based out of fear? Yes. Am very I making question. my decision? Very, in question, a very important question that people should ask themselves. Even with a lot of things that are happening in today's world. You know, are you basing your decision out of fear? You know, you really have to ask yourself. Check in with you. Check in. Check with in you. with you. Yeah. And just and just feel your heart. Check your pulse and see if it's racing. To see if, if it's racing, you might be in fear. Or you know, a lot of things people has happened to people. They're in, in panic. They're having panic attacks and not and even know it, knowing it because of the fear. And when you're in a panic attack, your stem cells might create bone cells in places bone shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Red blood cells might create um, a, a cyst. You might create cancer. Your body is so smart that it's yes, protecting it you. And your lungs, it's incredible. I'm seeing 1111 on the screen, 1112 on the screen. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. That activation code, right? Wh why is this important? Any moment you can notice four billion bits of information, your eyes, your body, your, uh, your senses can notice so much. If you're in fear, you will miss the signals that help you know that you're synergized with the environment, you're in sync with what you're here to do, and that your body can relax. Exactly. And you know, one thing I, I like to tell people, and I don't have a person leave my office, or if I'm speaking to someone and I know they're about to get in a car, I don't like them to leave me in fear or feeling sad. There's a test that I do in my office. Um, it's a CRT. And the machine is called a CRT 2000 to rule out uh, early stages of breast cancer, FDA approved. And when I have the report, I have the report within the first two minutes or 30 seconds after doing this almost hour test. And when they see the report, the, some people get very fearful. Sometimes they sit there in fear anticipating what the results are going to be. So I have to take time to relax a person before I do the test. I don't do the test if you're already sitting there in fear or if you're upset or if you're in extreme pain because all of these things can influence the outcome. So it's so important that fear, you know, you know, let's get that under control, deep breathing exercises, but sometimes let's address it and see what the fear is because sometimes after you talk about it, you find out it's not as bad as you thought. It's not as bad as you thought. And it's, it's not as bad as you thought. It's, um, and what's beautiful, Dr. Lee, about your work and about your clinic and about spending time with you is it's so comprehensive. What you share is so comprehensive. You test and then you dive in and you can put words and language to what someone might be emoting, the emotions that are yes. coming through. Yes. It's such a gift to give. And um, those secrets, like uh, it's hard to take. How many years have you been in practice? I've been in practice, well, I'll give away my age. My oh. oldest daughter is 45, and I finished school um, right after she was born. So I would say a good 38 years. A 38 Eight years. years. So yeah. incredible mm -hmm. to be in practice. And you're, um, you work with senators and um, Congress people on California level, the celebrities here, and all of the... Let me just say, too, um, one day I was going to see a patient, and the police pulled me over. And they said, you must be lost because the patient li it lives on Skid Row. And I told them, I have patients everywhere. We are all God's children, and he loves us all. 
So, yes, I had a home visit on Skid Row. And, but I go there to do pain management a lot of times as well because I do all for that. But it's so important. We mentioned celebrities, yes. But for me, I see people as people. I don't care what your status is, background. People are people. And when you walk in with your body, <laughs> yes. you know, this is what I want to do. I want to screen and I want to test and not guess. I don't care what symptomatology you have. But, and sometimes you have no symptoms. That's the sad part is the silent killers because you have no symptoms. Yes. So you can have fear and not even know it. And your DNA is not where it should be. Your body is not healing and you don't know. So I tell everyone, you should just get your screening done to know where you are even when you're feeling well. But sometimes you don't even know that you're stressed. We just lost several family members to you know, just being so stressed and overworked and not even realizing that they were so stressed. So not even realizing they were so stressed. Yes. It's um and every time your body wants to make something, it goes back to your DNA. Yes. And your genetics might have passed down the DNA. Your th- your family passed down the trauma as well as the amazing gifts. I'm, I salute Dr. Lee. I salute my grandmother. I salute my parents. I salute um, all yes. of those that went before us yes. because they passed down the brilliant intelligence. It's the passing down of the higher intelligence generation to generation and also is passed down all of the challenges that we haven't met in humanity. What's amazing, um, this is just such an incredible question. I wonder what humanity could create if it didn't matter who got credit, right? What would you pass forward through your DNA, through your molecules, through your subtle energy, through creating the proteins and the quirks and the next layer of you if that energy of you somehow being annihilated didn't exist right exactly (laughs) exactly fear is that space where that comes in so deep and fear robs you it robs you of the intelligence of your body separation when you feel separate from the choices that you're here to make exactly and then you know keep in mind with fear you're going to have a racing heart you're going to have an accelerated blood pressure and you know case in point i have uh, a couple patients when they're at home their blood sugars are normal and they're doing well when they go to work it's elevated stress Fear of what's going to happen. Some were fear, fearful that they were not going to have a job and be laid off, and their blood sugars would rise. Had nothing to do with diet, but fear. Fear. And so you're, you're changing your emotions. By changing your emotions, you can change your gene expression. Exactly. That's the work of Dr. Joe Dispenza, and such an incredible thing. Uh, it's um, I love Carolyn Mace, and I stand on her shoulders, and I, too. And I know her quite it's, well. And she says, you can drink all the wheatgrass juice in the world, but liars never heal. And yeah. the saddest part you, for most you know, could people. Could I just say this? You know, Because sure. you said that when I like this. Because people say, I'm drinking all the alkaline <laughs> water. And I said, you can alkalize yourself all day. But if you don't change some other things and let go of the fear, yeah. you're going to still be very acid. Yes. Your system is going to be very acid. So it, it encompasses everything. It's such an incredible world that we live in. You've got an internal world and an external world. And mm-hmm. your DNA so listens to your internal world. Wherever there's knots of resentment, or there's an obstruction of energy, wherever that is, The energy doesn't flow and the DNA doesn't rewrite itself beautifully. But wherever there's forgiveness, and when you think of the word forgiveness, right? What um, you're able to lift, you're able to give the gift of lifting whatever came, accepting it, and being able to allow your energy to free 
freely flow. Yes. It's amazing. Emotions are energy in motion. Yes. And your DNA is affected by the emotions and it takes 18 breaths. That's one of our five secrets. It takes 18 breaths to change your emotions. Anytime you are in resentment or feeling fear, if you ask yourself the question, who would I be without that thought? Yes. It's such a and, and gift. So do the right breath. Make sure you show them the right breath. Yes. It's not just sitting there. That's the not the shallow right breath. breath. Don't yeah. do the shallow breath. <laughs> you know, make sure you do a nice deep breath. Hold it on the yes. count of three or four and breathe out slowly. Because when you're breathing out slowly, you're lowering your blood pressure, your heart rate. The slower you breathe out, everything is relaxing a lot better. Uh, on exhalation, when you exhale. So keep in mind. Because we have five, five, I mean, 50 to 7 billion DNA cells. If you just think about 50 to 70 billion DNA cells that are dying off every day. So guess what? you got to keep that body healthy enough and the mind healthy enough so that you can start to repair. Because now you're going to regenerate that 5 to 70 billion cells that are dying off. you got to rebuild them. And you want that to be healthy cells, healthy cells that are coming on board. Your DNA is so important. So that second secret that we're talking about yes. is that you are constantly remaking yourself. Yes. In this moment, trillions, trillions of cells you no longer needed retired. And the consciousness, the feelings, the thought, the joy, the emotions that you're feeling are right now remaking the proteins that will be in your body. You're only defined by the past if you let yourself. So that first step, if you're stuck in an emotion, take a deep breath and um, develop it. breathing, mm -hmm. right? That first secret, that mm -hmm. second secret, remake yourself. Truly, truly get on and w choose the feelings by accepting whatever you're feeling and then choose the next feelings that you want to have. It's so beautiful. You're so elegantly designed. Exactly. You know what I want to say, not to interrupt you because we're having this wonderful conversation, <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, one thing I ask my patient when they tell me about things going on in their life or people in general, and I've asked myself, such and such happened. How did that make you feel? How did that make you feel? Because how you felt about that and how you feel, if you don't turn that around, it will make you ill because yes. it's affecting your DNA. So feelings is something I ask. You know, if I'm doing something or somebody's doing something and I stop and I ask them, I say, well, they did such and such or this happened on your job. How did that make you feel? It's and then you get back to the forgiveness because yes. then they're going to tell you how they felt. I say, okay, let's work through that and forgive. Then we're going to come back to that and say, how does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? Yeah. And so as you're listening to this, um, Dr. Lee, my voice, we've got the healing vibration through it. Both of us r have gone through so much in our past in order to allow you and me and all of us to generate beyond what our parents ever did. You've got healing codes. You've got vibrations within yourself, all the things that you've healed. Yes. And it's so incredible when we think of our parents, right? You've got 23 chapters of, <laughs> right, 23 chromosomes exactly. that you got from your mom and 23 that you got from your dad. And those 23 chapters, those 46 books of you, within it have so many mm -hmm. possible reactions you recopied yourself and so this third secret is doesn't matter what happens it's how you respond to it exactly and it's <laughs> incredible mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how your body can respond you learned a response from your mom 
as a child before the age of reason. You learned a response from your dad. Whether they were physically present with you or not, your body already knew the response. Any area that you feel frozen in or fear in, it's so important to get it's not your fault. Mm -hmm. And for you to really seek out but um, someone that you trust, someone right. that you feel comfortable with, that already has that healing vibration, those they're transmitting it through voice, they're transmitting it in the energy field. There's and also that through their touch. <laughs> you know, you have my daughter always remind me when she met me, she said, Mom, I just lo love how she touched you as she's talking, <laughs> talking about you. She said, I love that. So, and that's a good way to calm a person down, too, because it's not a threat. You know, yes. as long as the person allow you in their space, it's not a threat and it's calming. So you have that ability. And my, my daughter just loved it. She always talked about that later. So um, it, we could just keep going. We could, we could just keep going. There's just secrets. so much information. And I'm just so happy we're doing this so we can keep sharing so people can utilize this information to move on in so their life. What I love is that you brought your daughter into this conversation so beautifully. I've brought my daughter and our mothers give us our mitochondria and our grandmothers gave us our eggs. It's so fun to talk about this stuff, right? Um, ooh, <laughs> the egg that became you was inside your mama when you were inside your grandmother and then whoosh, you, your mama burst out into the world and whoosh, you burst out of your mama and you're the bridge. Mm -hmm. You're the bridge to bring um, time. You, the human being that you are, you are timeless yes. when you're in the present moment. And your DNA rewrites itself. It gets the cues and signals from you. It's the most magnificent thing to recognize as we're studying biology and neuroscience. Every part of you regenerates. Exactly. We used to say, right, when we went to medical school or when we got the training, we used to think or we were taught that the brain doesn't regenerate. Only the mm -hmm. liver does or the skin cells. And today we know through heart math, through the work of Harvard and Yale and all of these in all. Uh, uh, incredible mm -hmm. research facilities, every aspect of you regenerates. Yes. And if it doesn't, now we have something called PRP <laughs> that can help it regenerate faster. And that's your own protein. Yes. That, I mean, your, your own plasma, they withdraw from your body. And now they can even inject it. I had it done for my gums. You inject it into the gums and it builds up the bone in your own gums. So even if it can regenerate, but this helps a little faster. But it's still from your body. It's still, it's still from, from, from your, your body, body. Um, to regenerate. To regenerate. What I love is my I, I'm a village healer. It's so funny. My grandmother was my first teacher. I see and saw in light. I hear frequencies. And it took me years to figure out medical school to figure out not everyone sees feels or transmits energy the same way mm -hmm. and your hand your eyes your skin cells every part of you is sharing what's going on with you at the micro level and at the macro level your stem cells right um, their immortality cells that live within your skin. They live within your teeth and your gums. They mm -hmm. live within your heart, within your bone marrow. And uh, w one day, w it won't be long, I believe, everyone will be able to look at their own hands or look at their eyes in the mirror and be able to regenerate for themselves. Um, I think it was... Uh, it was but just a great, um, Benjamin Franklin said this as well. I don't know who originally said it, but in his books, he said, one day the technology of the future will be so advanced we won't be able to tell it apart from magic. 
And someone living today going, oh, you're drawing blood and you're spinning it in a tube, the PCRP yeah. the method, and then you're giving it back to yourself with stem cells activated. Yes. Wow. And they, sp you know, they do it for knee. Instead of a knee replacement, people should, I tell them, check with your doctor and see if he can do PRP instead yes. of having maybe a knee replacement because you can inject it in that same area around the meniscus. Um, my training was at Charles Drew Medical School as a PA and then became a nurse practitioner, then a PhD in holistic medicine. But my special training was in orthopedics when I was at uh, Charles Drew and I'm telling him to watch them to do, do this now. They didn't do it then because that was in the 80s <laughs> or 70s somewhere so long ago. Um, to do that and what I'll have them to replace. Can you imagine to watch cartilage repair? So, you know, ask questions. You know, if something's bothering you in your body and, you know, it's feelings, if you're feeling a certain way, back to feelings, place your hand in that area of your body and just ask yourself, why am I having this feeling in my stomach? You know, because things that we're about to do, you might feel it in your stomach first. You might say, oh, my God, I can't stomach doing this. And you'll say certain things. Or this makes me sick or this gives me a headache or these people make me feel like I'm going to crawl up the wall. Well, you know, ask yourself, why do you have those feelings? You might say those things, but put your hand on your body when you feel discomfort there and just kind of ask, why am I having this? And it's something such, will come to you. Yes. So you can start releasing without maybe always running to take something. Let's start releasing the emotional component so right. that you can start to heal. <laughs> so Dr. Lee just mentioned the fourth secret, right? Okay. <laughs> right? That fourth secret yes. to really yes. ask. And the question, your body communicates. It and does. when you know how to listen, you might hear, oh my gosh, this had to do with your grandmother's inflexibility, right? Your cartilage not moving easily in your knee might have to do with transgenerational healing that only you can do that asking that question and you sitting with that and you feeling the emotions and you breathing and you knowing that you're remaking yourself you might discover the answer and in Chinese medicine and Egyptian medicine and Indian medicine mm -hmm. and you become a better version of yourself. So the second that you go, oh my gosh, my grandmother wasn't flexible in her decision making because she has such rigid beliefs. She was so afraid of what the neighbors thought. And you thinking that thought and then you deciding, you going, gosh, I'm going to be flexible. I'm going to let go of the idea. It matters what the neighbor thinks. And I'm going to step powerfully into just being myself, mind, body and spirit. That thought, those emotions, that letting go will allow a new expression to come forward from your DNA for the rebuilding of your knee. Every time you become a little bit more flexible, every time you let go of the idea of, oh, what will the neighbors think? You literally mm -hmm. recreate your body to be healthier. Because what will the neighbors think is not a natural thought. It's a fear-filled thought that got passed down generation to generation and that we limited just, your expression. Exactly. And if we could just back up right there, then that's where we come into epigenetics. Yes. So epigenetics is that you don't have to carry that. Yes. You don't have to carry those thoughts, those feelings, have those conditions. Epigenetics is we're going to change the expression. But we're not going to get because that's a whole nother subject. But keep in mind that I, I you know, my family, uh, one of my daughters kept saying, you know, your father um, lived to be only 65 because of heart, his heart condition. And, you know, the whole thing is so she kept saying, well, what about you? I said, well, you know, epigenetic epigenetically, my grandfather, he lived to be 100. So I'm going to follow him. <laughs> 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 and maybe I'll, if I could stay looking like this, maybe we could do 130, you know? Yes. You know, with the same energy and the same quality of life. So epige epigenetics is really important, you know? So all the thoughts, the feelings, 
you know, um, the feelings my mother had of being insecure. And I can't say my own mother was insecure, but things, some of the things that she had um, epigenetically, that's what I want to try to turn around. Epigenetics is um, and that's so Bruce Lipton, uh, the right. biology of yeah belief. Doctor Bl- Bruce mm-hmm. Lipton, Lipton and yeah. the biology of belief. belief. Mm-hmm. And there's so much um, that we've learned in the last thirty years. And yes. w- what Doctor Lee said there was, you know, really truly ask questions, really understand that there what affects your genes is not just the environment around you but this uh, over and over and over again there's nature and then there's nurture and then there is you and the you that is in your body has a hundred organisms microbiomes living on every one of your cells the you that is you has been fed all of this food and all of these ideas that are not natural to you. And when you sit so beautifully in creativity, that's the fifth secret. We got through them really fast. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yes, we did. (laughs) That that you actively creating, you actively working on and listening to your inner voice, listening to your body, listening for your joy your dna knows the the smallest part of you knows that you're listening and it will remake itself so that you can hear more and more and more of what is yours to do it's incredible so um, simply put dna is your code book and there's four components to your code and Just like every ancient story of four elements or every story that we find in any historical book or biblical reference, so is above, so is below. When you think about that from the inside out, and Dr. Lee, I love that one of your questions that you always ask is about miracles. When you're asking your body, when you're creating, I wonder what my next miracle will be. Mm-hmm. When you're asking, I end my show with that question. Right. So yes, you end every show with that yes, question. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. And that incredible question. Go ahead and state the. Well, I ask people to repeat after me. Okay, I'm repeating after Dr. Lee. Okay, and you too. Repeat is, after us. Okay, repeat after me. I am. I am so grateful, so grateful that I am, that I am a magnet, a a magnet for miracles, for miracles. And then you draw it in. So it wasn't really a question. You want to draw more in because people ask me, how did how did this company give you a twenty five thousand dollar machine to put onto your nonprofit to help save lives? They, they, They said we never do that. Yes. But while they were on the phone, I kept saying, I am so grateful that I'm a magnet for miracles. They're going to give me this machine. <laughs> I'm a magnet for miracles. And they did. So yes. I, I use that. And I tell people, your life can turn around. And you can alleviate so much stress, stressed by asking what you said. You have to ask. You get yes. a no. You might not always get a yes. And OK, go to the next person. Uh, maybe sometime it's, it isn't for you right now, but it will be. Just this is wait and be patient. Wait Patience. and be patient yes. is Don't that r- uh, hurry for anything. Right. With your Rush. inner voice, Dr. Lee, you're so beautiful at that create that question, that that call to I am a magnet for miracles. Yes. And then you're sitting and you're looking for evidence of how you already are a magnet for miracles and you just breathe deeply and you go through those five steps right you breathe you notice Mm -hmm. the cooler air coming in and the warm air going out and then you go into remaking yourself and if you've got real issues with your body you do this by changing your diet And a Nobel Peace Prize winner, Elizabeth Blackburn, Mm -hmm. found that a vegan diet and in in six weeks, right, 
genes, 500 genes changed themselves in three months. It started at the six week point, but by three months that prevented disease that turned off the genes that cause cancer, all of the heart disease, other illnesses, doesn't mean you stay vegan forever. But you change what's coming in that you're remaking your diet, you remaking yes. your conversations. The second one, the third about parents. And yes. let me go back to diet. Sure. Just a little bit here, because um, a lot of things were written and I'll, we know about vegan and vegan is great. Now we need to know we, we have to do organic. Yes. But now the GMO. Yeah. So I've had several people within the last few years call me and say, how is it that this person was vegan all along and now they have dis uh, yeah. without I say abnormal cells? Yes. You know, how is it that that happened because of what they're putting on the food? So you eat the food, but keep we already covered the, everything a few moments ago with the feelings and you know, fear and forgiveness. The diet is number one. But make sure when you're eating your food that you're not sitting there thinking something negative. Because yes. while you're eating and digesting, it's really important what's on your mind and what you're thinking about. So are you assimilating the food properly? Are you eliminating the food properly? You know, a lot of people say, well, I'm just, I'm a vegan and all they eat is potatoes. You know, that's not a vegan. That's <laughs> <laughs> not a vegan. You ate and, and white potatoes, you don't want to do a lot of those anyway. That's a lot of starch. But, you know, it's so important with the vegetarian. And I tell all vegetarian patients, and especially raw food, make sure you know your lab tests. Make sure, because you, you don't want to become deficient in some very important um, vitamins and minerals, not so much minerals, but vitamins when you are vegan. When this is why it, at our center, I offer what is called the vegan IV. So I do intravenous IV therapies for people who are vegan. So not to say I put a, you know, milk in there or <laughs> in the <laughs> IV or is it meat? <laughs> None of that's there. But, you know, you have to have the right nutrients in your body when you are vegan. So the blood tests are very important. And I always share with people, you can do the, your test yourself. You can order it if you don't can't get to your doctor to order the test. What things going on? You can go to lifeextension.com, look at lab, and you can order your own blood tests. It's so important that you know what your tests are. Especially, I don't care what kind of diet you're on, you need to know where you are. It's important, especially again being vegan. You want to know what you're complete. So males, I tell them do a male panel. They even have a vegan lab test there. And if you go to Life Extension, just say you were referred by Dr. Lee and give them a code 90292. That's 90292. And they'll take better care of you. No. <laughs> <laughs> they treat everyone ex exceptionally well. But always tell them Dr. Lee and give them a code 90292. But male panel, female panel in, a, in our center, then that's turned around to show you Basically, at a DNA level, through your lab work, which you don't get from the doctors in the hospitals, because I used to work hospitals, and I used to go over lab tests with people, and I would say, well, this is your blood test, and you know, now we can look at it in two hours and see what your, I mean, two months, three months, and not just the hemoglobin A1C, but look at two months, and then right then, if you do a fasting. But it's so important that you know these things. And number one is, is your vitamin D, your vitamin D3 levels, you know, yes. has a lot to do with your mood. People don't realize that it has a lot to do on how you feel, you know, and right now, you know what people, a lot of people staying home, they're not getting a lot of sun, but it's so important if you might not be getting enough for your, do your diet and your vitamin D. So yeah. know your levels, because if you know your level and you stay in an optimal, not normal, not normal, but an optimal level, your chances of developing certain conditions like abnormal cells, I use instead of the C word, heart attacks and stroke. Now we're even seeing that vitamin D has a lot to do with your respiratory. 
So yes. sleep apnea. So if you have that, this it's finding that low levels of vitamin D is even associated with sleep apnea and ear. The ENT doctor did a lot of research in finding out that a lot of ENT problems are associated to low levels of vitamin D. So we go back to Do what your Dr. Research. Lee said Do earlier. Do your research. Don't guess. Get get tested if you've got any symptoms do your screenings mm -hmm. if you've got something going on and one of my favorite things is truly to go out and receive the sun every day you get vitamin yes. d activated activated vitamin d is called vitamin d3 your body makes it naturally you get when you connect with the sun it turns into the activated form that elevates your mood that helps reverse a lot of the immune compromising mm -hmm. effects and it's so important the sun gives you so much more than vitamin d i know we're coming to the end of but our I time say together too, too i've had a lot of people that do sunbathing yeah a lot of and they just knew their levels yeah and actually they, they were in the 20s Yes. You know, somewhere in the teens. So even though you're getting a lot of sun, our atmosphere and our environment is not what it should be. Yes. So make sure you're tested. Make sure you're Don't tested. Don't guess. Yes. Test. Test. <laughs> Don't guess. Um, Dr. Lee has been a miracle maker for nearly two years years and what i'm longer, so longer. Man, okay. probably longer oh at least three uh, um rebecca huntsman mm -hmm. introduced us and she was one, one of my first friends here in california yes yeah, she's mine I, still <laughs> <laughs> i'm just so grateful for the work that you do dr lee thank, thank you. you for transforming all the lives that you transform and for the ways that you show up for the community you give not just at skid row you give everywhere that you are your family your nonprofit, all of us are blessed truly truly blessed by the work that you do and, and you as well and you, you do something that i do and one person was with me one day and she said you know you every time we come across somebody we're walking <laughs> somewhere you have to say something you give compl compliments. I watched you when we, we, were, we were getting out the car this morning, how you gave that gentleman a compliment. You just don't know saying something nice to someone, you know, what it's going to do for them. But you're putting out positive energy right there to say something nice. Don't look and try to nitpick on a person. Try to find something on that person and give that person a compliment. And this is something I do so routinely, and so do you. That's why you had a compliment for the gentleman. And he's, he was taken back. I watched it. I watched him. And he was like, oh, oh, thank you. It's like he didn't know, <laughs> but he felt better. <laughs> you yes. Know? So you are truly amazing in the work you're doing and the people. Uh, it's just been wonderful. Oh. I know when I get a little stuck and, you know, hey, we're, we're givers. We're care, caregivers and we're doing a lot. We have a lot on our plate. So sometimes, you know, they say, who takes care of the caregiver? So a lot of times I will call you. I will definitely call you. And, you know, you're, you're always there. So I am so grateful to be part of a group that's doing something so wonderful and so positive for the world. We're Not so just here for the world. Grateful. I thank you. Yes. You're so grateful. And that whole different caliber of woman and that intense love, that intense wisdom it's so beautiful. And uh, to reach um, Dr. Lee, if you're hearing this in an audio format in the podcast, it's so beautiful. UBN Go has been downloaded at least 10 million downloads and counting oh the podcast goodness. here and the work that, that UBN Go is doing. And of course, on Spotify and all the different areas, Apple. YouTube, Apple TV, all of that. iTunes. Well, iTunes. If you're <laughs> yes. hearing it on one of those stations, you simply go to drsarahlarson.com. And on if you are if you go very soon, we'll be on the event page. You'll be able to find all of Dr. Lee's, Sh Dr. Sherilyn Lee's contact information. If it's a little bit afterwards, you just use the search bar and you look for Dr. Sherilyn Lee and it will have her phone number and yes. a way to reach her and stay connected with her mm -hmm. as her clinic and her work and the extensive gifts that she's here to give yes. continue so, to multiply. Yes. And if you um, 
remember the number is 310-419-4300 is the clinic, clinic number. Uh, then I'll get right back with you as well. Thanks. But this is so wonderful, and I, I thank you for, you know, where our website is being built. Thank you for assisting us on your site. Thank you. Giving us a home. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's what we do. Miracle yes. Makers Academy. We're so grateful for our members to pay it forward. And we look forward to your shows here at UBN Go and all the incredible work that you do at your clinic. Happy, happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being the amazing woman that you are and thank for you. serving the communities as beautifully as you do. I wish I had a birthday cake. In my imagination, I've got a big oh, birthday yes. cake I see here. It. I see it. <laughs> It's beautiful. It has less than 21 candles. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm happy to say, and, I, and I'm really grateful that I have been able to live 69 years. So I am. Yes. And listen, my grandkids can't barely keep up with me. So yes. I, I feel great. And it's all about your quality of life. <laughs> it's not about that number. It's your quality of life. And that's what I'm grateful that I have is the quality of life. And I'm so grateful. I, I believe we've all lived for a thousand years. Yes. Your bones were formed in the stars and your blood cells and every part of you, the oldest part of, in your DNA in those stem cells and the youngest part of you just took a breath. And so, yay. Dr. Lee, any clo anything that you want to close with today? Well, what I want to say is I have a book, but not so much I have a book written before I was born, but there is a song, and I wrote the hook. And I just like to say that because it's so powerful. And it's called Written Before I Was Born. Destiny had to conform to a path I had already won before I was born. So keep in mind that just keep moving, keep moving, keep forgiving, keep, you know, feeling, knowing that you're okay. Where you are right now, that you're okay. You were made perfect. So don't try to do all these things, changing on yourself. Just know that you were made perfect. And whatever somebody give you a title of a condition, no, that's just a title. Don't own it. Don't own it. Not Don't go in denial, but let's do something about it. And no, feel it within yourself. Because I had some people say, well, I know if I come to you in pain, um, I'm not going to be pain free with one treatment. And I said, but that's your belief. It isn't mine. Because I have a lot of people that walk out of my office pain free on the first day. So your belief can get you into a lot of trouble. So I'm so thrilled that we had this opportunity to have the show. And then keep in mind, healthy DNA, healthy immune system, healthy you healthy you and we'll see you soon thank yes. you for watching thank you bye for now Time for new wellness tv with dr lee join your host the accomplished dr Sherilyn lee as she welcomes the leading experts in health and well-being as they explore the advancements in natural health physical fitness nutrition integrative medicine and self-discovery Time for new wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Join your host, the accomplished Dr. Sherilyn Lee, as she welcomes the leading experts in health and well-being as they explore the advancements in natural health, physical fitness, nutrition, integrative medicine, and self-discovery. Time for new wellness TV with...